Now, there was a protest outside a pub in south-east London today against so-called drag storytelling for children. Only the event turned out to be non-existent because the pub's website was out of date. To add to the confusion, a pro-LGBT plus counter-protest formed to oppose the initial protest. There were noisy and impassioned exchanges on both sides, as Wendy Hurrell explains. Either side of the police line radically opposing views on the street in East Dulwich. This is a protest that was called by Turning Point UK, um, opposing uh, apparently a drag storytelling event at the Great Exhibition pub here behind me. The pub has said that no such event was planned for today. They did do one in July last year, which was very popular and successful uh, with the local people. Um, I asked someone from Turning Point UK if they would uh, speak to me. Uh, they have declined. They did eventually send us a statement in which it said, our protests are focused on awareness, not actually physically preventing adult performers from reading to children, as that is for the government to legislate or for the police to act when necessary. Speakers included actor and political activist Lawrence Fox, with Turning Point UK saying drag performances are inappropriate for children and they will be announcing more protests. The theatre company that puts on these shows said drag performance has been part of our heritage since the 1500s and just like all performance there are within the genre different types of content that's created for different age groups and they point towards the safeguarding policy on their website. Counter protesters stand up to racism said they were here to oppose the far right. I think that they genuinely want to cause division. I don't think that they welcome the counter protest at all. I think they would love to have an open field where they can perpetrate their I I ideas. And the fact that the community has come out so strongly against them, I think is a victory for us and a victory for the community. Some of those locals were engaged, others bemused. My children grow up here, we live next to the pub, it's a lovely family friendly pub, very pro community, all these demonstration created by people that don't even live here. And then there was this guy who just wanted everyone to go home so his kids could nap. This was the second such protest in a fortnight at pubs in South East London, both a melee of the most fervently held views normally aired on social media, in physical form, on the street. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London.